there he stood, and here he lived, and here he did the greatest work that posterity is about to forget. What is this series called? Rekindling the Reformation. The time for silence is past. The time to speak has come. What is Reformation all about? It's about the centrality of Christ. I'm tired of people saying Christianity is a crutch. It's not a crutch, it's a cross. This planet is covered in blood as a consequence of people who stood for righteousness and truth. But this battle is the final conflict of Satan himself to eradicate the Son of God from the minds of men. Ah, okay. So this universal Christ will not be Jesus Christ. They're actually saying that this Jesus that is going to come is going to be different from the Jesus that already came. I believe with all my heart that Christianity is in the shaking period. What are we waiting for? A temple? So that the sacrificial system can be inaugurated again, which pointed to a Messiah who has already come? That makes no sense. The Jesuit Counter-Reformation is almost complete. This is Jesuit Counter-Reformation theology and it has taken over the Protestant Church. These are the last events in the history of this world. We are one step away from heaven. The final issue will be the law of God. The final issue will be the Sabbath of the Lord. If I could tell you what's happening behind the scenes even in my own life, your hairs would stand on it. Do you think it's acceptable to the rulers to preach a message like this? Because why should the world end with less of a manifestation of the glory of God than it began? The wars between Britain and Scotland were religious wars over the supremacy of Christ. We stand for this and we will not be crushed. If we don't have a restoration and a reformation and a change of heart, we will be swept away. If we don't have the faith of Cranmer and Latimer and Ridley and Rogers and Knox, we will not make it.